You're listening to KEXP at 90.3 FM in Seattle. You can find us streaming at kexp.org worldwide. So excited to have one of my favorite bands live in studio today. Thank you always for stopping by KEXP. It's the Afghan Wigs. Shut up. 
was wonderful. The Afghan Wigs live on KEXP playing tonight at the Showbox and we are so honored to have one of the best live bands in the business right here in the KEXP studios. Thanks always for making time to stop by. Thank you, Cheryl. How are you? I'm doing great and absolutely love the new record in spades. And since you started off with Toy Automatic and Oriel, I want to ask you about those songs. I have a couple questions, but one of them is, I was so tickled to read that you became enthralled with a chord progression that you just couldn't stop playing around with. And I'm thinking, you've been performing for 30 years, probably playing guitar longer than that. And uh, I'm just wondering what excited you about that. Um, I moved one finger, and I had never played that, that pattern before. And it, it, just, it opened up a, a, a world to me that I, I, had, I had not entered before, so I was fascinated to be in there. I don't even know what it, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's just a regular note to John or to Rick or John, but to me it was like Disneyland. <laughs> it's know? so fun to think you can surprise yourself it and was. have so much fun with it mm -hmm. after so much time. Well, again, speaking about those two songs, I heard that they came to you in a lucid dream. Oriel did. Uh, that, well, I, uh, I, uh, um, I grew up in a small town in Ohio. Uh, I went to uh, um, a rural school, and there was a neighborhood called Birdland uh, near the school where uh, most of my friends lived. And the streets were named after birds, and uh, three of my friends lived on Oriel. So in this dream, I was walking down um, Oriole Street, but uh, I, I could see myself, you know, where, where uh, you're just, you're, you're observing the dream. And I saw me and my friends playing basketball on, on Oriole, and it was very moving to me. I could, I could remember, it was summer, I could feel the summer, I could, I, 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 I felt the memories of being there, so... Uh, um, it, it sort of unlocked a part of my life that I had maybe not visited in, in, in quite a while. You mentioned Birdland, which is the title of the opening song on yes. In Spades, and you talk about the way that song came to you fully formed in a way that's kind of rare for you. Can you? Um, I, uh, uh, I freestyled the lyric. Uh, I, uh, I, 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 these guys have watched me for years, like... Uh, I do a, a scratch vocal, just a, a, a stream of consciousness uh, vocal, and I find the melody when I do that. I was in Memphis, Tennessee when I did Birdland, and I sang it complete. Like, I maybe changed a couple words here and there, but like, the words to Birdland came out. Uh, the, the only other time I could remember that happening was a song called Tonight that's on Congregation. And, that's uh, a while ago. Um, and uh, a song called Now You Know that's on Gentlemen. So uh, those, those were the only times I freestyle. You saw me freestyle that one. So You keep referring to these amazing musicians. Can you introduce this wonderful this band? This is uh, Rick G. Nelson. He plays uh, guitar, piano, violin, cello. He is the 
Swiss Army knife of the band. That's John Skibbick on guitar back there, John Curley on the bass, and Mr. Patrick Keeler on the drums. Um, you toured extensively for Due to the Beast, probably over 100 shows, and I heard that right when you got off tour, you went into the studio to just kind of continue the energy that was going with this band that had been playing all those shows. Was that planned or was that spontaneous? We had the, we were in uh, Barcelona at the end of the tour and we were all at dinner, um, all of us and, and, and Dave Rosser who was with us at the time and decided that we were playing really well together and Rick has a studio in New Orleans and I just asked him if he had uh, uh, you know, open time, and he said he did, and we we went right in, and and it was, it really paid off. I mean, we I think we, we did six songs in eight days, and five of them made the record. So that's why this record has such a live feel. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry to hear about Dave getting oh, a little choked up. Oh, I can see you are too. Yeah. He's on all these songs, isn't he? He's on all of them. Yeah, yeah he is. I can pull myself together here. It's okay, <laughs> but um. I'm curious, um, boy, I've just lost my, I, I'm wondering, Dave was ill at the time, but it sounds like recording was a joyous experience. Well, he didn't, we didn't know that Dave was sick until uh, October 13th of last year. That's when he went to the hospital. So we were, we were done recording. Um, uh, the only thing I had left to do was write words to one song. And uh, um, that was called I Got Lost. And I, that was the only song that I wrote the lyrics for after he was diagnosed. Is that a song you've been able to play in your shows? I finally was able to play it. I was not able to play it at first. It was, it was, it was a lot. But we, we haven't played it much. It's, you know, I, I, I may revisit it sometime, but it's a, little, it's a little raw, that one. If it's in time. Yeah. The new album called In Spades, a very concise record, perhaps your shortest. There's 10 songs on there, but it clocks in just over 30 minutes. And I'm not sure if I read this right, but I heard you were working on new music already. So is that true? We are. We're, we're going in the studio in January to, to do another record. I don't know if it's going to be a full length or uh, we might do a short attention span special, maybe. Well, you clearly had more songs, so... Did you have a vision for this record, or you just kind of know which songs are going to go on it and when you're done? They kind of pick themselves, you know. Uh, um, you know, Rick loved a bunch more of them that that, that were on there. I really wanted it to be uh, um, these songs kind of chose themselves and 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 even their place uh, in the sequencing. Uh, um, we got finished and I sequenced it and then it, just, it didn't sound right and we flipped two of the songs and then it was perfect. So um, I, I love that it's, I, I love that it's, it gets right to it. There's no fat on it. It's, uh, it's, it's very direct. It is perfect. Thank In you. Spades, the new record from the Afghan Wigs and we are so happy to have them performing songs from that new record live in studio. You have another one from the new record? Um, I'm gonna move over to piano now. Absolutely. Now that you're walking away from the mic, I'm going to ask you another question. Um, I had read somewhere that you feel more vulnerable when you're performing on the piano. I know you play a variety of instruments. I think drums might have been your first first instrument. But what is it about the piano that brings out a vulnerability for you? Um, well, I usually play like an amplified guitar, so there's kind of a uh, um, almost an armor with the amplification, you know, I, I can sort of disappear behind it and, and piano is kind of a, a naked experience. So, uh, but uh, there's plenty of amp amplification on, on this one and, and the next one. So uh, my vulnerability will be uh, protected by these fellas. in the water sent you back to bed all of 
over your body to see electricity it was all that I wanted now it's killing me ooh say
That one looked like a fun one to play. That's always a good time. That sounded great. Live here in the KEXP studios with the Afghan Wigs. Again, congratulations on another fantastic album. Thank you, Cheryl. In Spades is on Sub Pop Records, and tonight you can see this band performing at the Showbox here in Seattle. Always great to see you again. Thank you all so much. You've got a tune to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.